Welcome to Tech Transform. Today we are here to discuss about various ways to access HBase. Uh, and also we are going to do hands-on by creating a table in HBase and save the ratings data, uh, movie lens ratings data using Python script via REST service. So let's get started. So first discuss about what are the various ways of access HBase. We can access HBase via HBase cell itself. We can access Java API since HBase has been written in uh, Java. We can directly, uh, if if any application we are going to write in uh, Java, we can directly call call this uh, access HBase using Java API. Also, we can access HBase using Spark, Hive, Pig, and the REST services. This REST service is very commonly used because it can it can be used over the HTTP protocol. And in this uh, session, we are also going to use REST services on top of HBase to access uh, HBase uh, tables. There is also Thrift service and Avro services provided by Apache. You can also use these services to access HBase. In this uh, video, we are going to concentrate on REST services. So see, let's see how the architecture looks like. So any web application can, uh, can uh, call this REST services gateway and uh, internally REST gateway can, uh, can call the HBase and internally HBase can call the files uh, data stores on the HDFS directory. So this is how the architecture looks like. And uh, before running, uh, b basically uh, for today's session I have written a Python script where we are going to uh, connect to HBase using REST services and uh, uh, written some commands in order to create tables to save the moving ratings database. Before running, uh, we, we can start uh, uh, before running Python script, we should start all these Hadoop daemons. For this, we have these following commands. Then we have to start HBase. For this, start hyphen HBase.sh. Then we have to start HBase master server, is start region server. Then we have to, uh, finally we have to start HBase cell. And uh, also one more thing we have to do here, these are the basic things in order to work with HBase. There's this one more steps we have to do here in order to uh, start REST services for HBase that's it's in built in inside HBase and we, we have to start on some ports. So let's say I'm starting uh, HBase REST services on 8000 port and this for information, uh, what other information is going on on the REST server. Uh, we want to see for, uh, for that I'm opening it on port 8001. So we are going to use this 8000 port in order to uh, call uh, this uh, REST service API provided by HBase in order to directly contact with HBase using REST services. So these are the settings we already do. Let's get started and let's see the final script how it looks like. Before that let, let me start because I have run all these commands to save the times. Just we have to run this HBase uh, to start REST services. Let me open my terminal. Okay, it's already it's already running. Um, uh, I have already started, I guess. Uh, for you, if not started, you have to type hbase hyphen daemon dot ss start rest uh, hyphen p on 8000 port. It is going to start and it will take the request on 8000 port. Info port, if you want some information to look up, you can start it on 8001 port. Now let's uh, move to a Python script, which I have uh, created for today's session. Let me open my files work hbase python script folder inside that i have written this dot py extension file dot means python file let me open with some of the editor i am opening it with, with visual studio code select now let's understand what we are doing here i will be walking you i will be walk you through all the quotes which I have written here uh, for understanding and uh, uh, later we'll run this code in order to see the actual practical things means creating a tables in uh, inside HBase via uh, REST service, REST service client. So 
the very first code we are seeing here is we have to import some library we have to import some uh, libraries uh, this library is starbase for from starbase import connection basically this starbase uh, is a you can see it's a uh, client ser client service which which is going to collect to c connect to the uh, hbase rest server and this 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 is going to work as a client uh, for hbase from uh, after importing this uh, for f for some of the machines uh, for your in your case if you are going to do it first time this package may not be downloaded for you for that you have to simply come and type pip install star base it will be automatically downloaded otherwise once you run this script it will start giving you error that's this module it, it didn't able to find from starbase we are importing connection object uh, we are importing connection attribute and uh, and after creating connection attribute what we are doing we are creating object of that connection attribute where we are passing the local host IP because uh, everything is hosted in my local machine that's why using IP and this the service we uh, just opened on 8000 port where uh, HBase res services is going to listen me that's what I am going to connect on that port only then I am going to uh, create a table inside HBase that table name is called ratings after that if it, it is going to check whether it's this table is exists or not if it is if this table is already exist it is going to dropping uh, dropping existing rating table it will drop and it will create once again then after that what I'm going to do ratings dot create rating means we are going to create rating column family inside ratings table I am going to create rating column family and print uh, then I'm going to pass the uh, ML uh, 100k ratings data remember we in, my, in our last uh, couple of videos we are using this movie lens data set you will find it here home data sets 100k so this is the um, rating data I'm going to use see how it looks like it contains uh, thousands of rows basically it is user ID this user ID has rated this movie ID as rating 3 on this timestamp so basically we are actually going to save this uh, rating data inside HPS using this Python script let's go to our script now okay now we are uh, what we are going to do we are creating a batch object batch object is nothing because we are going to read line uh, we are going to read the rate, dating, uh, rating files line by line so instead of going one by one and do doing the update each time for each row we are creating a batch and we are collecting all those uh, update operations and finally at once we are going to execute in a batch means it is going to hit uh, the HBase uh, client at once not the every time now what we are doing here we are written this this for loop what it is going to do it's uh, take this rating file this uh, euro data file and it's going to execute uh, its for line in rating file means e each row will come in this line then what we are doing we are creating this uh, tuples of uh, user ID by uh, by splitting uh, by splitting this line because remember we our lines are split on tab uh, tab separated by default this python will uh, uh, using line dot split it will split and give the user id movie id rating and timestamp and what we are going to do we are going to do uh, we are going to update update the row means we are going to insert insert a new row uh, by using user id means it this is the row id for our rating table and this is the column family name this is the column family which we have given here rating what we want to do inside this column family we are going to store all the movie IDs and the rating of particular movie ID it means uh, our rating stable will contain a rating family rating column family and each and inside rating column family will have a n number of columns means for that particular user ID inside rating column family how many movies he has rated means let's say user ID 1 has rated 10 movies then it will be coming like this for user ID 1 rated movie ID 2 given rating 3 user ID 1 for movie ID 3 it, he has given rating 3 means n number of columns 
how, how many movies ids he has rated it it will become column inside column family and the actual cell inside that value will be the actual rating that's how we are going to store uh, this information inside hbase by having this structure then after reading each file after done let's close that rating file now what we are going to do we are going to commit we collected everything every everything in a batch now we want to commit committing rating files to hbase via rest service after committing it means we already done the right operation now we have the hbase now we have the rating table inside hbase with all those user id rating column family then column as a movie id and for for that rating as a cell value now let's quickly retrieve that back uh, in order to uh, test whether we 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 were, we were able to write successfully that information or not i will be here fetching only two records for user id 1 let's fetch then ratings for user id 33 let's fetch means user id for user id 1 what are the ratings he has given for which movie id and what ratings he has given for user id 33 same thing for what movie ids he has given what ratings fine to quickly run, run this python script let me open my terminal in order to run this python script we should copy the exact file of this file path right here copy come to terminal now we want to execute this uh, python script for that python the script file itself the path of that script file i'm pressing enter now i think it's taking some time to execute some of the services were not running i have started all the services now uh, now let's uh, again run the python script what we have written for that python then the path of that particular script file copy control shift v now i am pressing enter yeah it's doing parsing the ml handed creating data committing rating data to the hbase virus services getting back yeah we got the result also it means it's created a table saved all the informations and it's fetched uh, the ratings data for that particular user id means row id uh, user id 1 means this particular user id this is the column family inside this column family we have this movie id itself a column movie id itself a column movie id itself a column and for for each movie id we can see the actual value is the rating for 10 movie for 10th movie id rating 3 we checked for user id 1 again we already written the script for checking for uh, ratings for user id 33 user id has rated this much movie with all these ratings means we can uh, finally uh, we we could able to create table in hbase and we could could able to load the ratings data inside hbase and finally we are able to fetch also using the python script over rest server rest service provided by hbase itself now let's quickly check uh, let's quickly go inside that hbase cell and find what is happening what happens inside that how the other uh, tables are actually created or not okay we can type list in order to see if we can see this is the ratings table let me check let's say we want to see some records scan ratings let's say i want to see only i want to check only one which it's contain thousands of records we will start and try to view all the results it will keep running and running and will take a lot of time that's why i'm just limiting it to one okay see we got this for row id 
means for the single row we have this means single row is nothing but a user id for this user id we have this column family as a rating inside column family we are this we can see these are the columns these are the columns these are the value means this is the movie id column column name is itself movie id rating movie id rating and timestamp by default uh, hps used to add for every read write operations modify operation it will add timestamp on top of that so that's all for this video thanks for watching watching have a good day bye